Hey guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. As you guys may know, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So I wanted to start whipping up some cute little desserts and drinks that I could share with you guys that you can make for your partners. So let's get started. Okay, so right here I have my, basically I'll be making some mini um, no-bake cheesecake tartlets. And right here I have some fresh raspberries. This is totally optional, but I feel like the lime will really give it that key lime um, situation going on considering we are adding some lemon juice down in there and we are using condensed sweetened milk and then over here I bought this from the supermarket of course you want to make this simple and easy you can make these from scratch if you prefer but why go through the extra hassle spend more time with your partner so I found these in the snack aisle these are shortbread tartlet shells and they're going to be per perfect for the cheesecake and you know my condensed milk, my lemon. I'm gonna squeeze my lemon out. You need about um, a quarter cup of lemon, like three tablespoons. If it's nice and juicy, you might need two lemons. And a food processor, not a food processor, <laughs> a standing mixer or a electric mixer. All right, so I have my cream cheese down here. I have two packets of cream cheese, room temperature. They've been sitting out all day, so they're nice and softened. To this, you're gonna add your 14 ounce can of condensed milk break down the size of your bowl that's what I just did to this you're gonna add your um, lime flavored vodka whatever vodka you prefer I'm using Svetka I think I said that right I think I actually butchered that name but anyway you're then gonna add your lemon juice down in here and don't worry guys all of this is gonna tighten back up once it hits the refrigerator we're gonna refrigerate this for about two to three hours or as long as needed you can make this in the morning well, and you know it'll be nice and perfect for the evening time for your date so then we're just gonna let this keep going for a couple seconds and then we're gonna fill our tart and pop it in the refrigerator all right guys so to get these in here I'm gonna use a tablespoon hopefully this is not too much the tarts actually look a lot smaller than they do on the package I think that was a bit too much so maybe under a tablespoon I'm probably gonna have to take that one off so it doesn't overflow so let's try it with a half a tablespoon Cause that's really how tiny it is like they're really tiny but they're cute <laughs> if you have a tiny um, ice cream scooper or cookie scooper that would be perfect for you but I don't have one so I'm using my tablespoon okay so about a three-quarter of a tablespoon is perfect this was half this was a full one <laughs> and this is about three quarters so I'm gonna stick with this size right here all right guys, now that I have my tarts all nice and filled, I'm gonna start putting my raspberries on top. See, it's already starting to set up because of the condensed milk, so it's not as runny. And um, I usually probably just drizzle these with some white chocolate or shave some chocolate over it, but I'm probably, I don't have that, but I do have peppermint and since the colors go together, it'll also cut the richness of the cheesecake because this is very, this is a very rich um, recipe. This is why I'm putting the raspberry, they're nice and tart. It's gonna cut the richness of the cheesecake and balance it out perfectly. Now I'm just gonna pop these in the refrigerator and let them keep setting up. All right guys, so now that we got dessert out of the way, which I need to show you guys what it looks like once it's set up, I'm gonna make a quick little drink. Now this drink here, it'll get your date nice and little tipsy, but it won't really take it that far. You know, these little champagne things don't have that much alcohol. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this right here. I have a few of these, cause they're cheap. <laughs> so in my bottle, my mason jar, I have some lemon slices and some cucumber slices. And now I'm just gonna toss in some ice with my cucumber lime sveka and my wine right here my champagne and that's it all right guys so I had my I added my ice to my mason jar and I'm gonna take my sveka you can add more liquor if you want or prefer then I'm gonna add my champagne you really shouldn't be adding ice to your champagne but I wanted to make an actual drink so you don't want your date to get too drunk where you can't even have a conversation basically so plus it's pretty all right guys so this is the dessert right here um and the drink as you guys know i just made it and yeah so i hope you guys make this easy simple dessert just put it alongside some lobster some steak 
But anyway, all of those recipes are coming up because I'm going to keep this Valentine's Day thing going. But I wanted to start off with a nice little drink and dessert, easy and simple. And yeah, as you can see, it's set right up. Look, I'm turning it upside down, shaking it, and it's not coming off. It's set right up like cheesecake. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye, guys.